Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Uh, today I'm going to be remaking my followers tutorial, so we're going to be creating our very own follower. It's going to be a lot more detailed than the last video and much better quality. So uh, let's just get on with it. Uh, we're going to start by opening our Skyrim and update ESM files and if you're editing a current mod you want to select that mod, tick it, or double click it even, and set as active file, because if you don't set it as active file you're going to have a load of problems and we are going to start by going under actors and actor and I recommend that you actually just duplicate a current actor one, uh, any one really or one that's closer to what you want to create uh, because if you right click and new sometimes you can have a really bad glitch with the creation kit where it won't allow you to set up the relationship which won't allow your follower to work at all and you have a, a lot of problems with that so I'm just going to go straight the way down to let's have a look uh, find our right click and duplicate and then we're going to double click on our duplicate and then we're just going to uh, get rid of these scripts here make sure you've got no scripts in there you're going to make sure none of these boxes are ticked go over to traits and we start from there so we're going to name our follower whoops a daisy Ooh, not in typing mode I'm going to call him Barney Blue, so Barney for short, so you can put the short name in. Uh, then you want to make sure you've got unique ticked and either essential or protected. Uh, essential basically means that they won't be able to die, they'll still get knocked down in battle and need healing, but they won't be able to actually die. And protected's the opposite, they will be able to die, so they'll be able to bleed out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click essential these tick boxes do have a tendency to untick themselves when you've changed a lot of the other tabs so just before you finish make sure that the ones that you want ticked are ticked otherwise you're going to have a few issues and just to preview our character click preview down there spin them around and if your zoom is way too quick then you can right click in that box and change it to 0.01 for the zoom speed and you can apply a load of other settings as well and that just really helps with that so as you can see we've got find all here we're going to actually make our own character so we're just going to go ahead and have a Nord there we go uh, don't put anything for the skin I never bother with that that's just something that is uh, fixed to them really uh, like extra stuff like a, a band across the head or something don't really need that uh, height make sure that you leave that I wouldn't recommend changing that whatsoever because they tend to have like shrink into objects or expand into objects like when they go and sit on a chair uh, weight you can change if you want so you can make them more buff uh, so I'm just going to go down to 30 uh, I usually leave far away model don't bother changing that uh, voice types are rather interesting uh, only certain voice types are going to work with the followers dialogue so you have to make sure that you pick the right one so it's no good going and picking like a drow voice because it just won't work um, so you just want to go with something nice and simple like an even toned version of your your race really so I'm going to stick with male even toned and then when you know that you've got your follower working you can go back and check out what dialogues work for you uh, weapons list and alignment you can leave <clears throat> I recommend putting the disposition over 70 so I'll put mine to like 78 just to be sure uh, death item this is obviously what they'll have on them when they die so you can have in here like a selection of things um, or you can just have a single item I don't usually bother with that with followers because I don't plan on them dying and if they do well that's it they're dead not a lot that you want off them uh, you can leave that box unticked you can click on head to uh, get a view of the head but we'll go through sort of the uh, the head a bit later on so we'll leave that on a normal sort of preview um, that should pretty much uh, cover everything on this tab apart from if you want them female obviously you tick the female box and you'll get a, a female version um, so yeah the other thing here a uh, template actor actually you can uh, you can set a template to something some like um, if you've seen NPC that you like their fighting style and their stats and the way they are and you want something like that for your follower you can select that in here and it cuts down a load of your work but I'm not going to be doing that okay so going to stats when you've done that uh, stats are very interesting uh, there are two ways of doing your stats uh, one way is by leaving this box here unticked uh, make sure that you've got auto calculate stats on so tick that box uh, the way you can do it is you can have your follower stay at a specific level for the entire time or you can have them level up with you uh, 
so if you want them to stay at a specific level you just leave the PC level malt unticked and you select a level so you go like 30 and you'll see all the stats calculate themselves depending on what you have as the class uh, the class does not determine the way they fight it just determines the way their stats are handled what are their weaknesses strong points and you can actually create your own class uh, by going under character uh, class right click new and you can set everything that you want here now uh, I'll just run through this really quickly you obviously need to give it a name uh, ID full name and usually you'll set the attribute weights to like uh, 1 to 2 uh, it's the same for all these as well uh, if you set them to like 10 uh, their stats can go ridiculously high and stupid so you put them on a scale of 1 to 3 usually uh, you can go higher like I said but you start experimenting with crazy things uh, voice points I believe that's to do with shouts uh, bleed out how long it takes until the bleed out uh, you can put a description but you don't actually need to uh, no need to do that uh, you've got other auto calculation things so you can mess with that I'm not going to make my own class but it's a good way of really selecting what you want uh, rather than having to pick from a list but we're going to go in this list and we're just going to go with a barbarian and you'll see the stats change accordingly so if you do want them to level up with you then you tick this box and basically you put their minimum level that they can be when you meet them and then obviously their maximum now I did say on the other tutorial to set that to around 80 but if you do that then when you hit a level of about 30 their stats become overpowered and super high uh, usually it's good to leave this at about 30 to 40 uh, for their maximum stats and it also then just depends on what you've got for your class really so you've really got to experiment with that you can offset the health and the magica and the stamina um, that's basically just going to add a bit on the end of what has been calculated for them um, I'm not going to do that speed I've always recommended that you add this to about 125 uh, 115 I bother with 115 now uh, apparently the last update did actually make it so that they're automatically a bit quicker now followers so that they can keep up with you but I still set it to 115 and it seems to work fine for me uh, bleed out override that'll override what the class states uh, for how long until they die uh, you can leave that I usually don't mess with it and now we'll head across to factions so just if you have duplicated and not right click to new uh, just make sure you delete every faction in there and we're going to start from scratch you want to right click and new type in follower and you want current follower faction and then do the same again and this time you want potential follower faction and so current should be able to actually see if you've got a follower already and if that's the case it'll put up the dialog to say you've got someone with you come back when you're on your own uh, you need to click on current follower faction press F2 and change it to minus one that's very important or it's not going to work uh, potential follower faction you can leave there is a third faction that we can add and it's the marriage faction and this needs to be potential marriage faction if you want them to be uh, a marriable player uh, some people have requested that before other factions that you can put in are crime factions so you can have them part of the town where you find them in so you could go with the um, easy way to do this is actually type the name of the place so you can go in and you can go like white run crime faction and have them part of that and the actual town faction and then you can actually set the crime faction in here so they react react, <laughs> react correctly to um, like people stealing things so they're not just going to defend themselves they'll actually call for a guard so we'll head on into relationships now usually you just want to confirm before you change any relationships just confirm the new ID and name so click OK no then yes if you've duplicated go back into actor Type in Barney. Back in the load. No. There you go. Double click. Uh, so go back in. Right click new. And as you see here, parent NPC. Now this is the reason why I've duplicated because I've got the glitch at the moment um, where this is left empty and I look in the list and my character isn't here. That poses a massive problem. But if you duplicate and edit later, you tend to have no problem with it. So ID. I'm going to put Barney Blue Rel, I've put spaces but it will change that, there we go. 
Uh, child NPC, this needs to be the player. Uh, when you type it in, you'll get a few flickers to try and give you a seizure, so you'll have to ignore that. Uh, relationship level, uh, this can be friend or ally or whatever, as long as it's something that's going to mean that they don't mind helping you. You can leave the association type and secret. Click OK, and now this person has a relationship with the player, allowing them to have the player follow a dialogue. Now, if you if you forget something as simple as this, it won't work, because I did it yesterday when I was creating something for my merchants pack. I completely forgot the relationship, and it wasn't working. So, any keywords, get rid of them. Uh, AI data, this is very important as well. Uh, make sure it's unaggressive or aggressive. Uh, if they're very aggressive or frenzied, they're not going to help anyone. They're going to go around and kill everybody. So, we don't really want that. I usually leave them as aggressive. Unless they're like a beefy orc or something, in which case they want want to be a bit aggressive. Um, mood. This is sort of more their facial features. I don't think it really changes the dialogue. I've never seen it change it. But I usually just leave it as neutral. Something like that. Um, energy. You can leave. Uh, confidence. This is pretty important as well. This depends on whether they're going to run away from battle very easily or not. Uh, put it as full hardy so they don't run away. So they're always willing to fight even to the death. Uh, assistance, you want to set this to help friends and allies. Morality, now this is quite interesting. Uh, when you say that I need them to do something, and you say wait over there, or kill him, or steal that, this is basically how they'll react to them orders. So if you put any crime, they'll do anything. They'll kill someone at will. Um, or if you put property crime only, they're only willing to steal things for you. So you get the idea. Um, so depending on the character you're making, you set that accordingly. Uh, I know this tutorial is pretty long, but I am going through it nice and detailed, so you're going to know about most of the things in here. Uh, make sure there's no aggro radius behavior. Leave that unticked, otherwise they're going to be pretty peed off when you get near them. Uh, combat style is quite interesting. Uh, you notice it's already set to human missile. Uh, that basically means that they're going to be favoring bows, so they'll be more of an archer. Um, so if you wanted more of a wizard you'd find something to do with a wizard in here so there's a number of things I think there's something that says like um, something like a, a shield and staff so it sort of says in the name the way that they'll fight so make sure you've got something with missile on the end if you want an archer and something with melee if you want them to run up so um, I'm just gonna go with something nice and simple uh, the level tends to mean what kind of moves they've got and what kind of kill moves they've got so I'm gonna leave that at like level 3 Gift you can usually leave, just empty that, put that as none. Uh, AI packages, make sure that you just wipe all these clean, otherwise they're not going to be where you leave them in the map. They're going to be off doing someone else's package, and make sure the default is none as well. Uh, packages, we're only going to add one. Uh, if you want more on packages, go and find one of my package tutorial videos. Uh, I'm going to put this as Barney Blue Wonder. Uh, I'm basically going to just show you a simple package. That means that they're not just going to stand in the, po the the area that you put them. They're going to actually wander around and use the environment around them to seem a little more human. So go to package template. Put that to sandbox. Click location here. And change this to 1024 just to give them a bit more room to wander around in. Uh, you can change all this but uh, that's for a later time. Under schedule make sure there's no hours set or time or anything otherwise they're only going to do this at that specified time uh, like I said I'm not going to go into detail so we just click OK give him that base package now we'll head on into inventory uh, this is really interesting really inventory now the default outfit people usually mistake it for uh, this is where I put my armor on so I'll go oh, sorry go into it armor select what you want don't do that if you want a really good detailed follower, don't do that. Uh, these clothes, the default outfit, can be what they're wearing when they're not fighting. So when they're just hanging around their uh, their village or in their home. So you usually want this as just some normal, nice, standard sort of clothes. Actually, we're going with some farm clothes. Uh, I usually leave that as default sleep outfit. And then what you actually do for them to like wear armor is you just put it in their inventory and that way they can actually have it taken off them replaced with something else and you can sort of really force them to use that armor because uh, sometimes with other followers uh, if you've got a really powerful follower from the game and they they've got some pretty cool armor on as standard um, 
you give them something a little simpler, you want them to match like some steel arm with you, and they find that their armor they're wearing is way better, and they will not wear it. So the way to get around it is to be able to take that armor from them. So you right click new, go in, and you can start putting the armor just into their inventory. And uh, when they go out with you, so if they, um, what I've got with Milos, one of my followers in my followers pack, uh, when he exits white run with you, he automatically puts his armor on. Or you can usually swap an item with them, and then you've got they'll they'll be forced to sort of notice that they've got their armor on. So we're just going to delete a few things in here. We'll leave a hunting bow and some steel arrows. Uh, you can actually create your own outfits, so you can go into if I can think where it is. Should be under character actually. Um items yes under items and outfit you'll get a whole list of outfits which you'll actually have in here so you can create your own outfit so the standard things that they're wearing to begin with right click new find the items you want in the filter and then drag and drop give it an id uh, close this and reopen it and then you'll be able to select your um, your outfit from there i'm not going to do that but that's as uh, that's how you actually do an outfit so a few tutorials sort of mixed into this um, okay, you can actually preview level, so you can go 50 if you put some leveled items on them. So if you right click new, put L item and then potion, um, go down heal rate. Uh, that basically means it will put a potion relevant to what your level is, so they'll have something reasonable on them. Like uh, if you're level 1 and you go up to the follower, they'll have weak potions on them. If you go up to them as level 30 or something, they'll have like uh, plentiful healing. And um, basically, you can actually preview this. Click the preview button, and you'll see what kind of um, item they'll be given when you're level 50. Uh, what will they get when you're level 1? They have a normal rate 1 potion. So, really cool. So, you can put all that on them. Uh, really good to like mess around with the inventory a bit, uh, see what it comes up with. Uh, spells and perks, really interesting. Uh, you just right click new for the spells, type in something like heal. Click on healing, go OK, and they'll use that at the relevant time. Uh, right click and add though for perks. Uh, if you go new, you start creating your own perk, and that's another tutorial. Uh, you can go with. Uh, I can't even think. Uh, avoid. For like avoid death. So they'll be able to avoid death once. That's a good perk to give them. So you can give them that. You can add as many as you like, really. Just be sure not to give them too many, otherwise they might not use them all. Uh, sounds, animation, attack data, I'm, I'm not going to go through any of that. Okay, uh, generate parts, like I said, click on head, and now you can start to see what you're creating. You've got a whole load of options you can mess with here. Uh, the interesting thing here is changing all the colours, like for face paints, and then going under preset, changing the colours, and you can start putting face paints on them. Uh, you can go into the base head parts and start changing things like the eyes. Really simple stuff. It's just like creating a sim or something on The Sims. Just as simple as that. Uh, it's basically a little advanced version of what you get at the start of the game for creating your character. Um, that's all it is. And you just go through, change things. So you end up with. Uh, so you can mess with that yourself. You can even select your own custom colours. Um, so I think uh, scars you can usually find somewhere in the filter. Drag and drop, drop them in. I don't know why they didn't do them in like a list, but you can do that. Um, if you're thinking that they end up with a grey face afterwards, then I'm going to show you in a moment how to actually uh, sort of correct that. Uh, character gen morphs you can change all the shape of like their chin and everything. You can really reshape the head to what you want and all the facial features. I'll just go through change a few things. Oh, he looks a bit sad, doesn't he? Um, change the nose. And you can leave face anime preview. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Get back into actors. And again, find your actor. Uh, highlight your actor and press Control and F4. Not Alt and F4, Control and F4. Click Yes, OK. That has now exported the face data and they should have everything that you've put on their face. They have the right complexion, the colour, they have the war paints on that you've put on, they have it all there. Uh, whether that works for people when it's uploaded to Steam, I'm not actually sure. 
Um, you can just tell people to open up the file that they download and just do that themselves if they're moaning about the, the sort of grey face. I uh, don't know how long this tutorial is going. So, right, now I think all that is left to actually be done is to place our character in the world of Skyrim. So, a lot of people when they're making followers pack, they like to just like dump them in an inn or something. Uh, like I said, you can change the packages, tell them where to sleep, give them a bit of a lifestyle. Uh, some people like to create an entire house. So if you've done that, you just go and you just drag and drop them where you want. For testing, I usually open up Riverwood. Uh, one thing I will also mention, uh, be sure that everything's loaded first. Otherwise, when you drag and, drag and drop, uh, they're not going to appear. You're going to drag and drop again and again. It's going to get confused. You're going to end up with like three versions of the guy. So wait until you're pretty sure everything's loaded like that. Uh, you might have to take a might take a while, depending on your your PC speed. So once you've uh, gone to where you want them, again find them in the list. Okay, it's probably in my face, but I can't see him. There he is. Drag and drop. Rise them up a bit. Hold down your primary click or left click, whatever you use. Hold down Z push the mouse up, tap F just to make sure they're flawed and just spin them around. As you can see, we've got Barney Blue there. So, I'm just going to uh, pop in game, show you our Barney Blue fellow working hopefully. So, see you in a sec. Okay, here we are. So, we are in Riverwood and as you can see, he's actually uh, used his package rather well and he's appeared over here. So, this is Barney Blue. Divine smile on your friend. Uh, I had to make sure that obviously uh, you saved uh, before you uh, just closed your creation kit. Forgot to actually mention that. Lead so, we're going to follow us. But I tell you, I saw a dragon. And there we go. Uh, he's using his bow, but that's because he hasn't actually got um, anything like an axe or something. But if you give him an axe, he should actually favour that. Uh, if we just click on him, he's got all the usual follower. Do you want me to carry? Options. And we can actually give him an axe. Uh, we'll give him a sword. There we go. So now we'll actually favour the sword. So that's the uh, the fighting style in action. So uh, I hope that helps. Uh, I'm glad I've actually redone the tutorial finally. Uh, it's mentioned a lot more things. And it's, it's much more clear I hope. So please leave comments. Let me know how I've done. Uh, please visit the website, uh, everything's in the description, check it out. I've got a few mods out there, I've actually got a followers mod out there. I'm doing a merchant's pack at the moment, which will actually include um, an extra follower or two. So, I shall speak to you next time.